Welcome everybody to an Evoto update video. This video is going to be dealing with the 4.0 update. Let's get started with another great feature offered by Evoto, which is the teeth flaws removal. And this is something many people have asked for. This teeth flaws removal will actually take care of braces. Braces are gone. Here's the before and after. Here's another image showing how the teeth flaws removal works. Notice his teeth aren't bad, but notice on the bottom here, you have these little jagged edges. Here we have fixed teeth edge. That's on by default. So when we bring up the teeth flaws removal, you'll see how it smoothed out these edges here as well. Let me turn this off so you can see the difference. Now something that I wanna point out is when you do use teeth flaws removal, the teeth do get a whitening effect to them. But let's say you just wanna fix the edges. Here's a tip. I'm gonna reset this. You can bring the teeth flaws removal up a little bit, just enough to get it going. And notice that the fixed edge works. The color stays consistent. Here's the before and after. If we go all the way up, you'll notice the color change. If we come back down, you'll notice the color is more consistent, but the fixed teeth edge still remains. So here's a model and a friend that I've done a lot of shoots with. But one issue we have when she's showing her teeth, one of her teeth is very chipped. Let me show you this. So after doing my normal Evoto touch-ups, I had to go to Photoshop and I had to fix the tooth manually. This is possible with an Evoto using the liquify tool, but the teeth have to be perfect. In her case, they are other than the chips. So I was able to do it, but most times it's a job for another application. But now look how much time this saves me. Turn on the teeth flaws removal and the fixed edge takes care of the chip. Here's your before and after. Again, notice the whitening effect. We can bring this down. Keep the colors consistent to the original image and perfectly fix the teeth. Another feature in the teeth touch-up section is teeth alignment. If you hover over the question mark, it'll tell you. This feature improves teeth based on their actual condition, aligning them for a more aesthetically pleasing appearance. Let's start moving this up. So option number one, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna stick with just number one. Here's the before and after. Now using this image we used before, I wanna show you the new gummy smile. This is under facial expression. If we grab the gummy smile, we move it to the right, you'll notice that the lip starts moving down over the gums and closer to the teeth. This is your before and after. In some cases like this, the lip did seem to get a little smaller. So not just go into facial reshape. Choose the mouth, go to the upper lip, just make it a bit bigger. So this is your before and your after. Now under the hair section in Evoto 4.0, we have the new hair volume section. We had the top hair volume before. If we raise this up, you'll notice more volume on the top. But now we have the new side hair volume. Let's just bring that all the way up. You can bring it down too to remove some volume, but in this case, we're gonna bring it all the way up. Let me show you the before and after. And let's bring the top up as well. Here's your before and after. You also have the ability to unlink the left and right. For example, in this image, I don't want the right to have as much volume as I added to the left. Let me bring this all the way back down. Here's your before and after. And again, I'm gonna raise up the right side. You can see how it functions here. And here's your before and after, before and after. Also in 4.0, we have the new skin tint function. You're gonna find this under skin retouching. Scroll down, 
you'll see where it says tint. Now this tint will just affect the skin. You'll notice in this image, it's a little bit green on the skin tones. So we'll just tint this a little bit towards the pink side. And here's your before and after. I'm gonna grab one more image. You notice in this image, it's a little more on the pink side. So we're very slightly gonna go back towards the green side. And here's your before and after. Now under skin retouching, you'll find the new frequency separation options. We have two sections of frequency separation, one for the face and one for the body skin. What frequency separation does is use high frequencies and low frequencies. High frequencies is more of the texture, where low frequency is more of the color tones. Let's bring this up to 100 so I can show you. By default, it's set at 10. By going up, you'll notice in the face, you get more definition in the face, because this deals with the textures. If we go all the way down, we can remove the texture. Let me reset that. The low frequency deals with more of the overall tonality and the light and dark areas of the image. By default, it's set to 50%, so let's bring it all the way down so there's no effect. You'll see the tone of the image doesn't change. As I go up, bring it up to 100, you'll notice that the darks and the lights and the color tones blended together. So if we want a really soft image, we can take out all the details in the high frequency and all the color, dark and light tones, we can bring them all the way up so they're blended together. This is your before and after. We could play around with this. We want to find a balance that we like. This is just another option under skin retouching. Let me show you a before and after. Keep in mind too, that the frequency separation slider at the top is a blend of the two on the bottom. So if you want to lessen the effect, you can move this to the left. You still have these two working. You're just controlling the overall. Again, let's make this to the extreme. We can bring this down a bit and bring it down more till we find something we like. And here's a before and after. Bring this up again, before and after. Now let's go to the body. We also have the same thing for the body as well. Again, bring up the frequency separation. It's by default at 10 and the low frequency at 50. I'm gonna turn these off, bring them both to zero so you can see what happens. High frequency, if we go to the right, it's gonna bring out the details. You see that? Before and after here. Bringing it down will remove the details. The texture. Reset that. Low frequency will blend the color tones, the light and dark areas together. So let's find a balance between these two. Before and after. And then we can lower the overall effect. Again, this is just another option under skin retouching. You have all the other options as well to use. This is just another tool that Evoto 4.0 offers. Another new feature added is under hand touch up. Currently there's only one option, hand veins. Let me show you here. Just bring it up, hand veins are gone. Bring it down to find a balance. And here's your before and after. One other thing Evoda recently added is a recycle bin. This prevents you from deleting your files out of Evoto and then having to go look for them to bring them back into Evoto if you need them again. For example, let's take this image here. I'm going to delete it from this project. You'll notice a pop-up. Deleting the image will move it to the recycle bin. You can restore it within 30 days. Hit OK. Now when we go to our home, the recycle bin is located here. Here's the image. 
and we're going to restore the image. Go back to the projects, and there's the image.